welcome, welcome all by the special grace of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love, your compassion that ends not. We thank you that you have safely protected us in the previous year. We thank you and we appreciate you that you have welcomed us into the new year. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Greetings, greetings all of you who are watching us live. I want to just share a quick word with you. Let us take our reading from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 12. From verse... One, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body, even as we enter into this new year, even as we enter into 2021. I beseech you by the mercy of God that you present your body, you present all your members, your faculties, as a living sacrifice, holy and blameless to God. Verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may be able to prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Be not conformed into this world, but daily be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As we have entered into a new year, we need to renew our minds. As we have entered into the new year, we need to put off the former men, the men of defeat, that woman of failure, that woman of depression, that woman of confusion, that man of tiredness, setback, limitation. Jealousy, envy, grief. The Bible says a wonderful statement. It says, brethren, be not conformed to this world. In this life, either you are a conformer or you are a transformer. You who are online, watching us from the comfort of your home, I want you to know, as we enter 2021, as we have entered into 2021, you will either be a conformer or a transformer. I believe you are a transformer. You are daily transforming to becoming like Jesus. The Bible says that you may be able to prove. This is a big statement and it places immense responsibility on a believer. Be not conformed to this world, but daily be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Meaning a mind that is renewed can prove what is good, what is acceptable. And what is the perfect will of God? You to prove. We can only prove the will of God to the level that which our minds have been renewed. Whatever word God is going to give us for 2021, whatever prophecy is going to give us for 2021, we can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. As we enter into the new year, as we are in the new year, we need to renew our minds. Renew our mind. We can only prove, say it with me, those who are online, we can only prove the will of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I see you are online. You are joining us online. Take note of that. We can only prove the word of God. This holy Bible. This holy Bible can only be proven to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Even if God has promised you blessing for 2021, favor for 2021, you can only prove that to the level that which your mind has been renewed. That is why the Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. Do not become like the people in the world. Don't let their speech become your speech. Don't let their fear become your fear. 
Don't let their challenge become your challenge. Do not be conformed to this world. Why? Be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is the good will of God. What is the acceptable will of God? What is the perfect will of God? It is our duty as believers to prove the will of our Father. But the Holy Spirit says we can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Let us take our reading from the book of Ephesians. I'm about to give you the prophecy. I'm about to give you the word of God for 2021. But take note that we can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. We can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. We can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Let us go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 22. The Bible reads, That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Again, we speak about the mind. Put off the former man. Put off the former conduct. Put off the former behavior. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed. Put off the former man. The man who's always confessing fear. The man who's always confessing doubt. The woman who's always confessing fear. The woman who's always confessing doubt. Put them off as we are entering into the new year. If you do not change your approach to the new year, it will seem similar to the previous years. When the year begins, many people have new year resolution. This beginning of the year, I'm going to do this. This beginning of the year, I'm going to do that. This beginning of the year, I'm going to establish this. This beginning of the year, I'm going to achieve that. But many do not change their mind. Remember what the Holy Spirit said? We can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. We need to renew our mind. The book of Proverbs says, Whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Whatever a man thinks in his heart, what do you think in your heart about 2021? Many are confessing fear. Corona, corona, we are finished. We are losing jobs. What do you confess concerning your 2021? Because the word of God that we read teaches us to say, when others say there is a casting down, we shall say there is a lifting up. Put off the former men. Let's read it again. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22. That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. This new man we are talking about is created according to God, not according to men. In true righteousness, not false righteousness. In true holiness, not false holiness. Not religiousness. Not religion. In true righteousness. As we enter into the new year, as we are in 2021, we are not going to be people who are religious. We are to be people of the spirit. We are not going to be carnally minded. We are going to be spiritually minded. Romans 12 verse 2 again. Finally, my brethren, I beg you by the mercies of God that you present yourself as a living sacrifice as we have entered into the new year. Do not be conformed to this world. Daily be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove that which is good, that which is acceptable, and that which is the will of God. I said, 
we cannot prove the word of God. We can only prove it to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Meaning as we enter and we have entered into the new year, we need to be cautious of what thoughts we allow in our mind. Remember David in Psalm 19, 14? He says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you. Let the words I'm going to speak and let what is taking place in my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord. Meaning there cannot be true prayer without devotion. I cannot say I'm praying. I'm on my knees, I'm praying. I'm on my knees, I'm praying. But while I'm praying, I'm worried about the car. You see? This is what David says. May the words of my mouth, meaning if I am on my knees physically, inside of my heart, I should be on my knees. Because he says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing. So, mistake that many people do, they will be praying. Oh Lord Jesus, I pray that you move this challenge. I pray. But in their heart, they are not even part of their prayer. In their heart, they are worried about the washing they've left online. The pot they've left on the stove. In their hearts, they are worried about external factors. Yet they say they are praying. That's why I say there cannot be true prayer without devotion. Because it is important what takes place in our heart. It is important what takes place in our mind. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you. I know you are in your homes right now. You may not be with us physically, but if you are with us in spirit, we are together. I said you may not be with us physically, but if you are with us in spirit, we are together. If you are with us in your heart, we are together. Therefore, distance cannot be a barrier. I am reminded of the woman with the issue of blood. She said in her heart, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, if I can only touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, I will be healed. She said this in her heart. She touched Jesus in her heart before she touched him physically. We can only prove the word of God to the level that which our mind has been renewed. Never mind the wonderful word you are going to hear for your new year. You need to renew your mind. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The woman said, if I can only touch. She said it in her heart. In her heart. Meaning the words of her mouth and the meditation of her heart were synchronized, were one. We're one. And because of that, she touched Jesus first in the spirit. Then she later went to touch him physically. Whatever prophecy you are going to hear, whatever anointing you are going to receive, you need to have a revelation that you have already received it in the spirit before we receive it physically. I will read it again. That you put off concerning your former conduct. That man of grudges, anger, competition, confusion, jealousy, envy, strife. Meaning you are going to be checking as we enter into 2021. What is happening? Because we are people of the spirit. We are people of the spirit. Our thoughts, we set our mind on what the spirit desires. Our mind is controlled by the spirit. The Bible says, let that same mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you. If you are going to have a prosperous 2021, a fruitful 2021, if your 2021 is going to be fruitful as you desire it to be, you need to put on that mind of Christ Jesus. I taught you that when Jesus turned water into wine at that wedding, 
the only limitation that was there was in his mind. Water cannot refuse. Water cannot argue. Water cannot contest. When the Lord turned water into wine, when he said to that water, become wine, the only limitation, if there would be a limitation present, it would have been in his mind. Thank God our Lord is limitless. There was no limitation. Not only did he turn water to wine, he went further and he walked on water. <laughs> Not only did he walk on water, he became the living water. So, believer, we need to understand the process of renewing our mind. It's very important if we are to be the people that God wants us to be. We have entered into 2021. We cannot enter into this new year with our old habits. Leave your past behind you. Leave the hurt behind you. The jealousy behind you. The anger behind you. The disappointment behind you. The wrong behind you. Whatever they may have done to anger you, to hurt you, leave it behind you. You have entered into a new year. You should not enter with the baggage of the past. You who are online, type, I will not enter with the baggage of the past. I will not enter this new year with the baggage of the past. Tell yourself, tell yourself, I will not enter this new year with the baggage of the past. I desire to share with you the word of God. For 2021. I would like to remind you of the words that the Holy Spirit spoke beginning of 2020. He said, Africa, unite. Africa, unite. The key to divide, rule, and conquer is to unite and prosper. I remember the Holy Spirit said, let the church of Jesus Christ unite. We as believers, we need to unite. United, we stand. Divided, we fall. Even as we speak right now, that prophetic word concerning our beautiful continent, Africa. Africa, as we see it, appears or seems to be sold. It is written in the book. I wrote it down. Africa has been sold by its leaders. What do I mean? I see Africa being colonized a second time. I see Africa being taken advantage of again the second time. But this time around, it will not be done by gun or by whip or by weapon. It will be done by web technology. I will share light on that word. 2021, the Holy Spirit said this year will be a year of supernatural increase. Remember what the Holy Spirit said now. You can only prove the word of God to the level that which your mind has been renewed. There is a lot that I have to share concerning what is going to unfold in this year that we are in. Just that time does not allow. I just want to give the word and everything else will be given as we are continuing. Africa has been sold because of technology. Take note of the word technology. This is the web. This is the internet. This is new inventions, new development. Be careful. The Lord said, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful of China. Be careful of China. I say Africa has been sold. That is the word I want to focus on. 
Africa has been sold. We need to pray for our African leaders. We need to pray for our leaders in government, for them to do the right thing. The world will not go back to usual as we know it. Things will not go back to usual as we know it. Things will not go back to usual as we know it. I want to just touch a bit on Africa. I said I see Africa being colonized the second time. I see Africa being taken advantage of the second time. Meaning what happened those many years ago because of the minerals that were in Africa, because of the gold, because of the diamond, iron ore, and all minerals that we find in Africa. Because of that, I see it happening again. But this time is going to be done by avenue of technology. In the coming weeks, I will share about this plan of the enemy to modify human beings. As we read in the Bible from the book of Genesis, chapter 6. I will share about that in the coming time. But the Lord said this year will be a year of increase. Supernatural increase. It will be a year of supernatural increase. A strange revival will break forth. Yes, the time has come. There will be revival. Revival of your family members. Even those who were not saved. 2021. Get ready for their salvation. Let the church be ready for revival. I said it in the previous prophecy on the last Sunday of 2020 to say the church must be ready for revival. It will be a revival of the word. A revival of the apostolic ministry. Evangelic ministry. 2020 was a year of revelation. A lot of things have been exposed and revealed. But 2021 will be a new revelation. 2021 will be a new revelation. I saw the angel of the Lord shouting for the church. Justice. 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 For the church and her ministers. So a lot of what has been happening in the world right now. Do not think our Lord is not aware. I continue to go back on the issue of Africa. Africa. I saw what appeared to be like scales. You know a scale? A scale that is used to weigh. You can weigh this side or you can weigh that side. There was a scale. There was a scale concerning this continent. We need to pray. I keep mentioning this Africa, Africa, Africa. We need to pray for Africa because as a result of the plans that the enemy has for Africa and the world at large, this will cause a revolt. As we are entering into 21, there will be matches. Strong matches. People who want to be unruly to fight with the authorities. To destroy the properties. So we need to pray. We need to keep praying. Even right now, the Holy Spirit says, tell them to pray for Africa. Let us pray for Africa. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that may you heal our land. We pray that may you heal our continent of Africa. We pray, Father, for our leaders that they may do the right thing, that they may value the lives of the people they are leading. Father, we remember your prophetic word of 2020. You said Africa is being divided by tribalism, by competition, and by corruption. Father, we pray that may you touch the heart of the leaders, that they may not put profit over the lives of the people they are leading. May they not put money over the lives of the people they are leading. Father, we ask for your grace. We ask for your mercy. We pray for Africa, O oh Lord. We pray for South Africa. We pray for the world. Lord Jesus, whatever plan the enemy has, 
for evil, we pray that may you turn it for good. We know that with God, all things are possible. We know that with God, all things are possible. Father, we pray for our African leaders. Even as we go into this new year, as we are in this new year, you have revealed to me many plans that they want to do. Father, we pray for Africa. We pray for South Africa. We pray for our president. Let him do the right thing. We pray for our leaders. Let them do the right thing. We pray for the church of Jesus Christ. Let the church unite. Let the church be one. Let the church of Jesus Christ unite. Let the church of Jesus Christ be one. More now than ever before. That we may advance the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Because of time, I would like you to have your candle at home. A lot of things that I would want to share, I will share with you as the year is unfolding or the first week of Sunday again. My concern is our African leaders and what they desire to do for 2021. It takes me back to the message that God gave us in 2020. Africa unite. The answer to divide, rule, and conquer is unite and prosper. We pray for God to touch the heart of our leaders. As we said in the prophetic word, there is a demonic agenda. But we don't want to discuss the warfare. We don't want to discuss our enemy. We want to focus on what God has told us to do. But we need to pray for our African continent. We need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray. For God's intervention. The church of Jesus Christ must know that you are protected. You must know that you are loved. You must know that the Lord has sent his angels shouting justice, justice, justice. Some of the prophetic words were given on the last Sunday of the year. I believe as we go forward into the year, the Lord will permit me to mention others. Because even now I want to continue. He says, mention this one of Africa. Mention this one of Africa. Mention this one of Africa. It is a serious thing, what is going to take place in our land. In a very short space of time. 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. I saw them on the table. They were already discussing. He said, by 2024, 2025, everything that they have discussed needs to be put into action. My concern is the African leaders. I saw them at the table. They were bidding. I saw them at the table. They were bidding. They were bidding with their nations for gain. So we pray for our African continent for God to give us wisdom with all that is facing us. I know in the comfort of your home, you are a believer. And I know that your faith will not fail. More than ever before, it is time for believers to come together. More than ever before, it is time for believers to stand as one. Africa, unite. Let the church of Jesus Christ unite beyond the bonds of organized religion. Let us not say this one is worshipping this way, this one is doing that. Now more than ever before, as the church of Jesus Christ, we need to unite. Now more than ever before. Beyond organized religion. I believe by the grace of God, I will share concerning this plan that wants to be put to practice in the world. Where it began. In Genesis, I will begin it from Genesis. But as you are in your house, I believe you are having your candle in your hand. I believe you are having your candle in your hand, and then we can be able to light, and then we can be able to pray.
I know you would have loved to be with us in the, in the auditorium, in the tabernacle of God. But God's time is the best time. And you do not worry with all that I've spoken about. The Lord has said he will give us wisdom on how to go about it. The Lord has even introduced a new prophetic direction that we'll be having in the solution ground. Our miracle pool. Those who are here, they have experienced it. 